Hey guys, it's Hink here. I actually have one of the best videos that I've seen in a long time that I'm going to kind of like react to, but break it down with real sites and talk about the good points, the bad points. It's this video that's actually by Hems. Believe it or not, I actually use Hems for like my, my hair loss. I use a finasteride minoxidil spray and I'm sure in the comments, Hink, don't use finasteride. Like, okay guys, I get it. But guys, what I really like about this video is they had women basically describe their ideal size. And then they also had women make a model of their ideal size. And then after that, what they did is they actually measured what that ideal size was. I've never seen like such a complete progression, but the really important parts, let's break it down today. Women care less than men. And I think while women are just more objective, men get very touchy about it. And it's like, no need to lie. It's okay. Penis is great. Like any size is fine. First is this clip. Like it doesn't matter how many times I say it. Like if you don't want to believe me, you're not going to believe me, but women care far, far less about the size than men do in general. So here's a paper here and it said, most women, 89% responded yes when asked, do you find the size of your partner's penis satisfactory? And less than half, 43% agreed when asked, do you think that the size of your penis is important? Don't overthink it, guys. I promise you, you care way more about your size than I can almost guarantee you your partner does. If you're dating the right person, I'm not trying to be like high value, low value women and all that. But like when you're dating somebody, they should want to love you for, for, for you, for who you are, not what you have in your pants. Really care. I think the older and wiser we get, more matters outside of the size. But I do think that it still matters about 50%. Yeah. Here, I, th I thought this was interesting. This lady talks about how you when you get older and you're wiser, it matters less, but it still matters about 50%. In theory, the older you get, the more partners you have. And here's actually a study that said, actually, the higher the number of partners you have, the more size actually matters. The data is actually kind of converse to what she's saying, depending on how you look at it. But overall, guys, the point is size doesn't really matter that much. Now, guys, like it doesn't matter if you're like me and you have had multiple women say things like, well, I thought you would be bigger or, oh, is that it? It doesn't matter what the data says, like when you're faced with that. So I get that. And guys, that's part of the reason why I make my channel. And that's part of the reason why I started my enlargement journey. And guys, I put together a whole course where over the past basically three and some change years, I put on over an inch and a half in length and an inch in girth, and it's absolutely transformed my life. So I put together this course based on real science where you can learn how to get bigger. It's based on real medical documents and medical literature. So if you're interested, link is in the description below, but let's continue. Do you think men lie about their size? Oh, yeah, sure. Of Even course. the pictures, <laughs> they would still find an angle <laughs> to, try, to try to make it look bigger. Hey guys, it's obvious. If you're exaggerating your claims, if you're using a favorable angle, if you choose like specific lighting, if you use that 0 0.05 like image, I mean, lens on your iPhone to make things look bigger, like women are going to know. Don't lie about it. Don't Photoshop it. Just honestly, it kind of blows my mind that in like this day and age that you might be exchanging D pics before you actually get intimate. I guess I'm just an old ass man and I'm used to when you date, like you court a woman and you open doors for them and you take them out to eat and like actually get to know them. And only then do you actually get intimate. You know, my current girl, so this might be like sound crazy to you guys. Gosh, we dated for like a smooth six months before we even kissed. I, I know. Oh my God. Like what the hell was wrong with you? But like, I, I wanted to get to know her. I liked her. I mean, and of course I was in like medical school, but regardless guys, just take that for what it's worth. I always say like nothing too big, nothing particularly small, just a happy medium. Like who wants like something huge that's going to disturb my peace? I don't. Right. I want something very pleasurable, pleasurable calm. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to yeah, feel like a, <laughs> feel you, but not, ouch, I really feel right. you, you know? Here's where we start to get into the, like the meat and potatoes of this video. They ask about like, what is your ideal size? And then the chick's basically like, well, not too big and, and, and not too small. And like, that's the point. The average length of the vaginal canal is actually smaller than the average length of a penis, okay guys? A lot of these women, you're gonna hear, they don't wanna get hurt. I can't tell you how many times when I have asked some of my female friends, what has been your worst sexual encounter? Without a doubt, they say it's with a guy that has a big D that basically thinks that he can just get away by just like pounding away. The size is just not all it's cracked up to be, guys. That being said, you can maximize your encounter when you are a little bit bigger. And that's why I think you should try to love who you are, try to maximize what you have by doing things like losing weight, maximizing your erection quality by doing things like cardio, quitting smoking. And then of course there's amazing supplements like vigor and like fortitude that can actually boost your erection quality, which are in the links in the description below. 
but it's just not all about the size. Please don't get caught up watching corn, but I'm, I'm not going to belabor that message in yet another video, even though so many of you guys need to hear it and probably still don't believe me. For me, it's like about, yes, it's about the size, but it's also about the shape of it too. The mini that's, cucumber with like a banana curve. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know the saying, it's not the size of the ship, it's the motion of the ocean. Now this part was interesting. It's not only the size, but also the shape. She describes a mini cucumber with a banana curve. I don't know what that means. Like Callie, can you can you photoshop basically a, a mini cucumber with a banana curve i mean is it curving to left right up down like i honestly don't know what that means if you guys have an idea what that means or if i heard that before please let me know in the comments and also if you made it this far just take a second to like the video guys i'm well on my way to 30k maybe even by the time this video drops i'll be at 30k but i'd appreciate you taking the time to help me on my journey and subscribe build your perfect penis <laughs> perfect one. okay so guys, this is the most important part where they actually get to build what their ideal penis is. I'm trying to see what I would like buy at a store. Now guys, it is important to know that they've done studies actually looking at what is the number one selling toy in, in certain shops for adults. The number one selling toy is about the average size of a D, maybe a little bit bigger. If girls wanted gigantic Ds, then they would be going into these shops and like finding these like arm sized toys, but that's just not reality. That's four and a half. <laughs> I think that's, that's apt. 4.5. So this first girl builds her perfect D. It's 4.5 inches by 4.1 inches. So one could argue actually that the 4.1 inches is actually on the smaller side of girth. Now, the one thing to keep in mind with all these measurements is that they are completely detached from a human. And they're also with like not realistic models. You have to take that with a grain of salt because if she were to take that 4.5 by 4.1 D and put it on a guy, you know, my size, far above average, she might be like, oh no, that's too small, even though objectively she's saying that's the size that she wants. So anyways, just, just keep that in mind when we're looking at this. Almost five and a half. Okay, that's the length. That's a solid 4.75. <laughs> This next girl, who is kind of a self-proclaimed size queen, she says that I believe at the end of the video, 5.5 by 4.75, guys. Once again, we're within that average range of both length and girth, and not even like upper average, just straight up average. Now, you have to keep in mind, guys, these are non-bone pressed measurements with link that's why i really hate the debate and i have a whole video about like bone pressed versus nine bo non-bone pressed what matters more so guys when we're talking about bone pressed versus non-bone pressed all right guys so let's say this is mr pp here i don't even know if i can do this with one hand so if you measure a non-bone pressed you're just measuring that visible link there okay so you would just be measuring the ruler like from there to there what you can visibly see that's what matters more. And, and, and you know, I'll, I'll die on this hill, okay? Like, I, it, it's a stupid argument. And quite frankly, I think the argument is from obese people that are usually hiding like one to two inches of fat pad. And I'm not going to take too much time with this debate. But bone press matters for actually tracking your measurements, period, okay? It's the most reliable thing to know because if you lose, if you lose a bunch of weight, you lose 10 pounds and you lose a quarter inch of your fat pad, you're going to gain a quarter inch in non-bone pressed length. And yes, that is visible length, but it's actually not your tissue getting bigger. If that makes sense, guys, that's why I, I stress the importance of losing weight. But bone pressed measurements is if you take the ruler and you jam it in as far into your fat pad as it can go. For example, let's just say the average fat pad is about an inch. Quite honestly, most Americans at least are, are overweight or obese, and most people have bigger than an inch fat pad. If they're saying my ideal size is 5.5 inches, that's 5.5 inches of visible D. Not well, technically you can see four and a half inches of visible D because there's an inch fat pad. So I'm going to count the hidden, you know, D in the fat pad. And I'm not trying to fat shame guys. I'm just, I'm just telling you how it is. You know, I do want you to love yourself and all that stuff, but I'm not going to lie to you just to make you feel better. Like you need to lose weight. You need to minimize your fat pad and you need to be in shape because that matters far more than your D size. You need to maximize your shoulder to waist ratio also because that matters way more than your D size. Proper six inches there. Okay, starting there. How was that five inches? That seems so, you know, I guess that is five, five inches across, six inches in length. And it's funny, this girl builds like the, the, the jumbo D and it's literally six inches by five inches. And, you know, maybe you can see even in her hand, I don't know, we might have had to blur the images for YouTube's sake, but like it actually looks big. Guys, you just don't understand. I've said before, and I have, I have a video, it's called like the ideal size. It's actually one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I highly suggest you watch it after this. But I think 
that the ideal size is six inches non-bone pressed by between five to 5.2 inches in girth. Like if you were to ask me, I'm on the hot seat, what is it? And that's almost exactly what she picks. I, like, I feel very validated that she picked that. A little over five inches. Okay, so mine's is five inches in the girth. And finally, this last girl here, guys, five by five inches. Now, five inches of girth, like that's, that's towards the upper end of average. I believe like the very upper limit of like an average girth size is like right at five, 5.1, maybe at most 5.2. I'm pretty sure 5.2 is slightly above average. But still, guys, once again, this is what she's saying for the ideal size. But I know what you're saying. They only asked like five girls. It's not a real sampling. I saw a TikTok video where they took one of these microphones and were walking on Bourbon Street and asking random girls that were scantily dressed like and they were saying they want 12 inches plus or don't holler at me. Guys, you're, you're an idiot. First of all, you need to get off TikTok. You need to delete TikTok, okay? And honestly, you should delete Instagram as well and delete all the other channels except for my channel on, on YouTube. I mean, I'm kind of joking about that. But you need to stop poisoning yourself with social media that's toxic, that's gonna make you feel bad about yourself. But more importantly, there's actually published literature. There was this study here, and guys, this is one of my earlier videos, and I have like well over like 100,000 views on it, even though it's not the best video because it's, anyways, you should watch it after this. In this paper, they showed the size that most women want based on printed 3D models for a one night stand was 6.4 inches or 16.3 centimeters in length and five inches in girth or 12.7 centimeters in girth for a one night stand. And they preferred slightly bigger for a one night stand. For a long term relationship, they preferred 6.3 inches or 16 centimeters in length and 4.8 inches in girth or 12.2 centimeters in girth for a long term relationship. Guys, this is consistent with a large study that was done looking at real women once again. So you can't just say, oh, well, this is just selection bias, or they just handpick these girls that prefer smaller Ds. And you, I'm talking to you, you jerk off in the comment that's going to be like, I've been in locker rooms and I know that most guys are eight inches plus, and I dated a girl once and she said that her ex was 14 inch. Stop it. You're an idiot. Stop it. Okay. That's not real life. That's not reality. Y you need to reprogram your brain. The average penis length is about 5.2 inches. Oh, wow. Congrats. Very nice. <laughs> What's up? The average penis circumference is 4.6 inches. Okay. So close to five. Okay. Yeah. I do like this video because they say the average size of a D is basically 5.2 inches by 4.6 inches. There's a range of normalcy. I've talked about it in many videos. Here's one of the best published papers. And once again, it shows that the average is between 5.1 and 5.5 inches so like please please understand real statistics like real science not what you see in the movies or not what you hear on tiktok or any of that bullshit this is testimony men don't lie about your penis you're beautiful the way you are i don't mean i kind of like this closing but it's also kind of corny and it's like oh you're perfect the way you are i mean it's kind of probably how some guys like see my closing and it's like you are enough and they're like oh my god that guy hink is corny as hell but anyways it, i mean but it is kind of true and sh it should be reassuring that she's like guys it really doesn't matter like you're perfect we like we we just like you which is how it should be if you're dating a girl and it's just for your d Quite honestly, I feel sorry for you, bro. Like, I, you know, to me, that's not a flex. Even if you're hung, to me, that's not a flex. That's not a meaningful relationship, in my opinion, okay? But do whatever makes you happy, guys. I'm not here to judge. So, guys, there you have it. The one thing that kind of does irritate me, it's not about this video. It's more just like it's social media. I have a whole video about how, like, Hollywood is ruin ruining men's security because all the data says women want six by five inches or five by five inches, somewhere around in there. But then why is it in like every romance novel, like Sex in the City, the movie, every piece of popular media, it's like guys that have these like massive hogs. I mean, I was just like you, you in the comments, but I also don't fault you guys that are like, look, I'm average and I know girls don't want that just because we're bombarded with media. Guys, you really need to reprogram your brain. If I had come across my channel, maybe back when I was doing this to actually learn what my real size statistics were and like what real averages are and basically what a standard deviation is and what is normal variance, I don't know that I would have undergone my, my PE journey. I mean, I'm almost positive I would, but I'm hoping that this can help prevent some of you guys from turmoil and, and drama, worrying about your D when it's unnecessary. But guys, I appreciate you staying this far. If you want to support me, if you want to reach me for consultation, whether for enlargement or for injury coaching, patreon.com slash dogkink. If you want to support my fabulous editor, Callie, links are in the descriptions below. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace and love.
Got the hint, got the plug on the health, yeah. Got you thinking about your wealth, yeah. In this office, no stealth, yeah. Pinnacle of that below the belt, yeah. Checks and balance, he's managing. Working miracles, no damage. Got you covered, no panic. King steady calm. In the clinic, no vanishing. Yeah, with Doc King, it's the way back.